Hi everyone, Editor Jen here. Um, so this video is a collab with uh, Karen, Karen, and MUA, and a whole bunch of other YouTubers, and it's for I mentioned it in the video that we're doing the New Year's Eve holiday glam look. So what you need to do is I'm going to link her video. Oh, sorry. I'm going to link her video down below. And um what you need to do is go watch her video before you watch all of my video and then come back and watch my video and then leave me a real genuine comment. But in her video she'll explain all the rules and everything. Um but then come back and watch my video and then leave me a real genuine comment so that I can go back in the comments and pick who I think is worthy of winning um, from my comments and I'll pick the winner from my pick a winner from my comments um, and then that will go I'll, I'll submit that to Karen and then she will also pick one of us YouTubers who she thinks has the best look. So, and you guys will vote on that over on her channel. Like I said, she'll explain all the rules on that video. So go watch her video first and then come back and watch my video and leave me a comment down below and I'll pick that comment down below as to who I think has the best comment down below about what I did and my look and all that stuff. And then go back to her video and vote. And then go watch all the other ones um, and see what you think of all the other ones and vote on those as well. So um, enjoy my video. Let me know what you think. Even if you don't necessarily like it, let me know, let me know what you guys think of, of the look and um, have a safe and happy New Year's Eve. Love you guys. Bye. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Coda and Lorraine's Adventures. I'm Jen. Today we're gonna do continue on with the uh, shop our stash or shop my stash, whatever. And I think <clears throat> I'm debating. Hmm, what do I want to do? I think what I'm going to do today, I was going to do a look with that. No, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do these two palettes together because, you know, I think this one actually goes really well with this one. They have very similar colors and why not? So that's what we're going to do. And it matches my shirt. So I don't know if you guys can... See my shirt? There you go. Now you can see my shirt. So that's what we're going to do. And I want to see how this little palette that I got in my the box performs. I have played with um, this Dominique Cosmetics palette that we got in the BoxyCharm just real, real, real super fast and Actually, I only played with one color, and it's this Eternal Light. I think I just used it as a topper and, or like a highlighter, something like that. Obviously, I have my face done. I don't know. Well, I don't know if that's obvious or not, but I have my face done. So there you go. Rocking a coffee. My favorite coffee shop. Um. And so let's get started. Uh, let's see what we're going to do. I think, should we go bold and, and big? Or should we play it a little bit? Well, I think we're kind of, I mean, I guess we could kind of play it safe with this a little bit. But I don't think you could really, yeah, that one's going to need some glitter glue. <laughs> um, sorry, talking about the one in the Crescent Moon this uh what is it ophelia that one yeah that's gonna need some glitter glue but it looks fun i might use that today actually um 
we could do it like a smoky pink with that Ophelia in it. Hmm. All right, let's do it. Why not? Um, I'm going to go real light. This is going to be crazy weird. But I'm going to go real light into zero gravity. If my brush will pick it up. I guess it's picking it up. Yep, there it goes. Okay. So we're just going to go real light. Oh, yeah, it picked it up. Okay. Oh, so many car alarms going off. Hope you guys can't hear that. Just to kind of give a little bit of smoke up at the top. And as you guys know, I uh, have hooded lids, so I always go, there goes my furnace, um, I go above my crease to uh, give the illusion of a lid. I watched a Tati video the other day, yesterday I think it was, but I think she posted it a couple days ago, where uh, he was doing her sister's. Uh, makeup and she had a hood of lid and he he did this same technique I was like huh I do that and I've done it for years go figure I thought that was pretty cool so I was like I'm not alone in my thought process <laughs> so yeah I thought that was pretty neat So anyway, I will probably go ahead and post this on New Year's Eve. So I hope you guys all have a fantastic New Year's Eve and be very, very safe out there. And don't do anything crazy and wacky and get yourselves hurt because that would be very bad. Um, I don't know what we're going to do if we do anything. We may just stay home and hang out and play video games or something. It's boring. Who knows? Clean house. I don't know. You know. We lead very exciting lives. <laughs> I don't know. We may go downtown and watch the draw, the ball drop. Hard to say. It depends. Being on crutches makes things difficult, you know. Um, so it's not like we can, I can just go run around town and do things. So... Okay, so I think that's a pretty good even base. I swear one eye goes on so much smoother and easier than the other eye. Do you guys have that issue? And it doesn't matter my base or if I even put a base on. It don't matter what I do. That just is the way the cookie crumbles with this. Silly eye. It's just craziness. Um, what brush do I want to use? I think we'll go with my phony round one. I drink my coffee first. One of my bestest friends is going to come over and I'm going to do her makeup. And you guys will see it. Um, so it'll probably come. I'll probably post that later this week. But anyway, so I'm gonna go in with this really crazy pink. I think I'm gonna do that all over my lid. Maybe. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it all over my lid. Why not? Let's just go with it. Well, let's do it. Cause it's fun. Oh, and that, that was smooth, too. That was very smooth. I didn't want to do that. 
can we do fall? I guess. Or dark. Or dark, dark, dark. Makes me think of the old Muppets Tonight show. I don't know if you guys ever are even old enough to remember that show or not. And the uh, chef and his uh, assistant, the Swedish chef and his assistant. And he would bark, 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 bark. Anyway, you get it. If not, if you're not old enough, you can Google it. It's hilarious. I miss that show so much. It was so funny. So, so funny. That and um, Fraggle Rock. I like my two favorite shows growing up as a kid. But I heard also, oh, he's a quarter down there. Um, she must have snuck in. I didn't even hear her. Uh, that, speaking of old cartoon, that like DuckTales and we were over at our friend's house, my friend's house, um, last night, because last night was my birthday, um, for my birthday, and they have Disney Plus, and, uh, she said that the original DuckTales and the original Adventures of the Gummy Bears is on there, and she actually played the Adventures of the Gummy Bears. I just about died. Oh my gosh. My childhood flashed before me. It was fantastic. I loved it. It was absolutely great. I was like, this is awesome. But that just tells you how old I am. You know. Because I was like... Okay, the original DuckTales, I was in late middle school, high school, when that was on. But, still, fantastic show. And, yes, I can still recite the entire song. Like, all of it. Same with the gummy bears. Um, um, probably the rescuers. Uh, I know I can Chip and Dale Adventures. I'm just gonna kind of brighten this up a little bit because I think I'm gonna do maybe kind of a cut crease. I don't know. We'll go with it. We'll, we'll play with it and see what happens. You know, why not play with some makeup and it's fun. But um, I am going to go underneath with this. Uh, but it was so much fun. I don't know, it kind of makes you yeah, really a dork, but it was still really fun. Have you all watched my tag video that I posted? I know it's a long one, but it's a good story. Um, but Candy Sass tagged me in and then I did the video. You should go watch that. I will link it. I'll put it in a card up there. You guys can go watch it. Um, it's the strangest thing that ever happened to me. It's not, I mean, I've had lots of strange things that have happened to me, but that one's pretty crazy. For sure. 
it was probably like the first craziest thing that's ever happened to me so and I get friend mail in it as well because Dave Durango sent me those cards up there and a really nice regular card too because he's cool like that Kind of buffing out that edge with that brush that I had the the gray on just to kind of smooth it out a little bit I want to kind of I think what I'm gonna do I'm just kind of thinking out loud here I think I'm gonna go in with this little motor brush that's similar to the other brush that I just used and I'm going to go in with this storm dust which is this color right here and I'm going to kind of deepen up that outer V just to kind of kind of smoke that up a little bit do be do 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 be do 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 I don't know if this will go up on New Year's or not. It might go up after. Depends on what happens. I got a thing brewing, so we'll see. We shall see what happens. Blend, blend. Oh, my blend. Out the corner view. I'm such a dork. Oh my gosh. Jen, really? You've got to stop. Like, the dorkiness. I'm going to take that. Just, I'm not going to go all the way. I just want to go, you know, a little ways. Just to kind of mech it a little even if you get my drift there. This is the first time really using this palette, so I don't know. I mean, it, it's got a good pigment. I've heard thing good and bad about the big palette. Um, and then the same with this one. So, I don't know. And it's usually about how the colors don't like to lay on each other. But so far, so good on this one. We'll see when it goes to when I keep adding color, you know. So how do y'all feel about the Roaring Twenties coming up? I'm kind of excited for the whole new decade thing, even though, I mean, I guess the whole new decade thing for me last time worked out really well because, well, the first one, the new millennium, I got married, so that worked out. And then the new decade was my 10 year anniversary, so that worked out. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of gray to that to smoke it out even more. Um, but I need a different brush. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited for it. Well, no, that'll be good because it's a little fluffier. This is a Santi. Yeah, the Santi brush. I'm going to go back in with that zero gravity, but I didn't want to use the big brush. Um, I'm just kind of smoke out that outer edge just to kind of darken it up a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited for it. You know, I mean, we have, 
uh, I started my YouTube channel. I've got my photography stuff rocking. I mean, I've had all these surgeries and stuff to get better. I'm, I mean, I'm still not 100% in it, and I never will be, and I, I've accepted that, and that's okay. But I'm better. So that means I can go and I can do more. And I can get out more. And I can have more adventures. And I don't, you know, the grocery store won't necessarily be my only adventure. Even though <laughs> we all know Walmart is a gro is is an adventure. It can be a big one. So you know, I mean, it's it's a whole new chapter in life that I am so so excited for. And so just, I'm ready, I'm ready for that change to happen in my life. Um, and, you know, I honestly, I think I deserve it. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of conceited and, and all that, but when you get sick and you get hurt, and you live in a lot of pain and you fight depression and, and things like that. And you find that ounce of happiness. You grab onto it and you run with it. And you're like, dang it, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it right. And so that's what I'm going to do. And so I'm really excited and I'm glad and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. I mean, we're still going to do all of this stuff too, but man, let me tell you, once I get released of everything from my hip, we're going, we're going to do, and I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to blend this out a little bit because... There we go. There we go. Oh, that's not good. Blend. Blend, 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 blend. Keep a going. Keep a moving. But it kind of turned it purple in a way. So that's cool. It worked. But yeah, I'm just so excited. There's so many new adventures ahead. And just a whole new chapter in life, you know, and it's just, and I'm not going to let the pain and all that stop me. I'm just going to keep going, keep doing, keep living my life. So I'm tired of letting life just pass by. So. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. So. Hmm. I think I need a little bit more of that gray on the other side. Because it went a little bit darker on the other side. Does anybody ever do that? I do it all the time. It never fails. Never fails. But I'm going to kind of do, I think what I'm going to do here, I just had kind of an idea. It's going to be like a, a dark to light. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm going to do, I'm going to get, kind of do a little bit of a cut crease, but not. Nah, not. But yeah, you, you'll get it. Um, just going to go in with. Some concealer just to kind of lighten up that paint a little bit and I'm gonna put some of these shimmer some of the shimmer in the middle or not in the middle yeah from there to there in the middle you get it you understand what I'm trying to say do you understand the words that are coming out my mouth? Because apparently I don't. <laughs> I'm such a dork today. Oh my gosh, I am just in a state of mind. 
that cannot be dealt with. Holy moly. Okay, so I got a little tiny brush, my e.l.f. concealer. As you guys all know, that is my go-to for my lids because it dries so stinking fast. And it works. Okay, let's go. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Down, 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 down. See what I mean about drying so stinking fast? It's like instantaneous. Oh man, why is it when you can't, your nose itches, when you cannot scratch it? Because you are busy doing something else. This is so bad. So, so bad. Just a smidgen more. Yeah, I don't like this stuff from my under eyes because man, oh man, does it like. I mean, it works okay if you are rocking some dark freaking circles, but um, you can. There's better products out there that you can use for that. Um. But for this application, it works beautifully because it just dries instantaneously. But that's the problem with it under your eyes because it is so drying. And I know they say that it is a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. I've never tried Tarte Shape Tape, but this is just so drying. And I don't, I, you know, I have combo skin. I can't imagine if I had super dry skin, what it would be like. But for this application, heck yeah, it works great. Absolutely fantastic. Because you don't want to, especially if you have a lot of dyes, you don't want to have to sit there and, you know, have to wait for your concealer on your eye to dry for 50 million years. Okay, I got more onto one eye than I did onto the other, so now I have to go and even it out. I'm just asking myself, wow, that's bad. <laughs> oh. Oh. I need to stop doing that. More coffee, I guess. Okay, yeah, I think I think we're about even. Okay, so I'm so excited. Probably by the end of the week, beginning of next week, I would imagine. So like Monday ish is when we'll do our 200 subscriber giveaway. That's when all the products should be in, technically. We'll see if it actually works and happens. Because, well, you never know. My luck with shipping companies, as we all know, my <laughs> love-hate relationship with them. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the uh, Hard Candy Glitter Stay. Um, I thought I had the NYX glitter glue, but whatever, this stuff works. So, if I can get it on my brush, I'm just going to use that same brush that I used. The, uh, concealer on. And I'm just going to lay that over where that concealer is. And again, 
There goes the Norwegian. I went up a lot higher than I wanted to, but... Meh. Whatever. It is what it is. So, now I need another brush. I think we'll go in with my favorite little packer brush. The Luxie. As we all know, that is my favorite. I'm going to go into Ophelia. It is super squishy soft. And I ain't getting squat. Come on. Give it up there, girl. Okay, there we go. Holy mackerel. I might. Oh, wow. Okay, that's big. Wow. Okay. Give me some glitter. This is going to make a mess of a world. Don't need a big old blob in one spot. Holy sparkle. Wee ha. We got some glitter going on now. Okay. And yeah, serious. Okay, let's um try and collect some of this. It is really pretty though. Holy moly, that is pretty. Wowza. That is so pretty. But yeah, if you don't have a glitter glue, it ain't gonna work. Because man oh man do I have glitter everywhere. Oh my goodness. Just going in trying to kind of blend it back on itself. Yeesh. Yeesh. Man oh man. Look at that. Wow that's pretty. Woo. That's pretty. Okay. Yeah. Glitter glue on the other side. Oh man, it's on my shirt. It's everywhere. There's glitter glue everywhere. Or glitter everywhere. I got a kick out of my husband. He was doing laundry yesterday or Saturday. Can't remember. I think it was yesterday. And he opens the dryer and he goes, There's glitter in the wash. He goes, It's your fault. I said, I haven't worn any glitter. He goes, It's from your makeup. I said, I haven't worn any glitter. This is probably from the Christmas decorations. <laughs> this is your fault. No. It's probably from all the Christmas decorations. I'm like, don't blame my stuff. I am there. I think I'm going to try and kind of feather it out just this smidge. There. Glitter glue off of my brush just a smidgen. Okay, let's go back. I mean, this stuff, I'll show you guys once I, I'm done getting it on my eye how not packed it is. But man, is it beautiful. Okay. Shut up for a second. Now you can move around. Yeah, that is so pretty. 
so, so pretty. But, whew, nice. I'm gonna have glitter for days. I have glitter bombs myself. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Look at that. That's so pretty. But okay. Can you guys see that pile? Okay, that's what I had to do just to get anything because you couldn't you couldn't just grab it like a normal glitter or pressed glitter so now i'm gonna try and get it to where it'll at least stay in the palette it is so insanely softly pressed like it is just barely in there the other ones are not that bad. And you can see that they're not that bad. This is super chunky. Super chunky. But it's so pretty. I'm tempted to go full on glitter, right? But I don't want to. I want to leave that back end smoky. But I was tempted to use the new moon on the back end. But I don't think I'm going to. I'm just gonna leave it then okay I think I've got it pressed down enough now you can see that I don't think it's so bad now so yeah so stinking pretty I mean, it's probably one I should have used my finger with, but I really didn't feel like getting glitter all over my finger. But there we go. I and I mean, I still don't agree with the price that they had on it. Um, and people can argue, not argue, whatever. It's everybody's opinion, and that's okay. So. Anyways, anyways, so I do want to kind of blend that out a little bit because I didn't do that yet. Golly, that is just gorgeous. Just taking a, this is just a Kleenex and just. Get that cleaned up ever so slightly, ever so slightly. Holy moly! Okie dokie. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna do my lashes. And lashes. Yeah, I'm just gonna put some mascara on and I'll be right back. I'm a lips. Okay, so I did my brow bone highlight with the uh Eternal Light, which is this one. I um did my normal on my lips, and then this one I'm really liking this. And then I did my uh, tight line, or not tight line, my water line with this, the Maybelline uh, Lasting Drama Light Liner in Moonlit Purple, Moonlight Purple. So let me know what you guys think of the look with these two palettes. I'm really digging it. I think it came out really cute and it could be a great um, New Year's, New Year's look. I think that would be fantastic, actually. So, you go out and have an adventure, even if it's just a grocery store. Blessings to y'all. Love ya. Bye.